Well, this weekend, of course, will be a spectacle of first downs and field goals. But yet the Lions, they're not playing. So, you know, it's really all about the food. And thankfully, we've got our favorite chef, Chef Aaron here from Chartwell's back in the studio. Um, lots of inspiration and then a couple of tweaks to make things just a little bit healthier. We are always love having you. Thanks so yeah. much for being here. Thank you so much. Happy to be here. All right. So let's start at this end. We okay. got tots. We do. So these are actually all part of our program for Super Bowls. Okay. Um, and we're really focusing on the fun days in the month as well. February has a ton of really cool fun days. Potato day, tater tot day, okay. <laughs> pizza day, so forth and so on. Oh. So we've um, got lots of different options to fall into that different genre of, of our fun days within the schools. Bringing all the fun days yeah, bringing them all into together. one day. Yeah, and then we wrapped it up into a Super Bowl type of idea as well. Okay, perfect. So let's take us through this. Okay, so right at the end here, we have some uh, barbacoa turkey okay. with some oven roasted uh, tater tots, because everyone loves tater tots. Mm -hmm. Top with some cheddar cheese, jalapenos, black olives, lettuce, and some fresh pico also. I, I love that. And you want to assemble one for yeah, us? I'd love to. Yeah, because, let's do that. You know, everybody's always hungry around here. He doesn't leave with any food, that's for sure. No. Um, and you did some <laughs> things differently. So the turkey is a little bit of a better sub. Yeah. You're, you're using air fryers, things like that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so we just used air fryer in the studio. So that yeah. was really fun. Yeah. So, um, uh, we are roasting all the potatoes. Nothing is fried. We don't do any fried foods in K through 12, okay. which, is, which is fantastic. Yeah. We're using a turkey rather than a beef. So a little bit healthier on that front as well. Uh, and of course, the spices is a piece that we love to add into the foods as well to really give the foods lots of flavors. With all the sodium restrictions we have for kids, it's kind of fun to play with different spices. Yeah, you want it to taste good, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. And, and the beauty of this is that you can kind of put, pick and choose what you like, what you don't, and throw it together. 100%. Yeah. 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 Okay, perfect. All right. And then... <laughs> Dessert. We're going to eat dessert second. <laughs> we do have some dessert. So these are um, uh, French toast sticks, and we actually bake them with a simple egg custard and put some cinnamon in them and some little tiny little bit of chocolate chips. And then we got a little bit of cinnamon yogurt as well, which is a, which a great spice also. It's right on the side for dipping, because everyone loves to dip, especially in Super Bowl. So this is yogurt. Is it vanilla yogurt with cinnamon? Vanilla yogurt with cinnamon and some honey, local honey also. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Amazing. And then a little bit of chocolate, because, you know, can't go wrong. Chocolate. And then the whipped cream. Right. Did I, did I skip over this one? You did. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. We I just some, wanted to get to dessert. It was no really worries. important to me. We got some, also some oven roasted potatoes here with some pulled pork, barbecue sauce, oh. and some green onions. Oh, man. All right, pulled pork. So the, for those who like the pork, that's a little bit a little bit different. Yeah. Because you can a, throw all those things on it, too. Absolutely. And we try to, try to make our dishes as many builders build as you want for the kids so they get to actually choose what they want to put on it rather than telling them, this is what you're going to have. Now they can kind of build it how they want to build it. They can take ownership of their yeah, meals. 100%. Right? Fine, right? And this one seems pretty easy. So they're just French toast sticks. You kind of just bake it and let yeah, it go. 100%. That's exactly what you do. Just yeah. bake it and off it goes. Off it goes. And off it goes off the plate. And this one, though, I'm... I'm going to stake my claim on this. Yes, yeah, um, so that's a fun twist on a pizza. So that's a pull-apart twist on pizza. So it's actually using a piece of pizza, you just rip up the dough, mix it with some garlic butter and some uh, pepperoni, which is like one of the number one toppings for kids in, in schools. A um, little bit of garlic butter through it as well. And then we did a little bit of a simple garlic ranch and also the healthier option as well as the marinara. On the Talk side. to us about this garlic ranch. What is this all? How do you make this? I can't tell you that. It's in that cookbook we're putting together. Okay, <laughs> I, right. I'm like Chef Aaron's cookbook. So, but this couldn't be easier either. Like, again, you, you buy store-bought dough and just yep. throw it all together. There's definitely options out there. You can buy the store-bought dough, which is actually already perforated. Just rip the pieces up, mix it in with the garlic butter, which comes in the packet also. Um, in schools, of course, we make our own. I was gonna say, <laughs> of course, this is all homemade dough, but yes, <laughs> yes in school for we us, make our own. Cheat. And then, of course, put the pepperoni or any other topping you want to put in it. I, I love it. I love it. And then here's how it turns out. Little, just kind of like... Pull up balls. Balls, yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, really simple. Wonderful. All right. And, and I asked what you were making at home for Super Bowl. Yeah, a little bit of all of the above. I mean, kids love to pick, so it's picky food, right? So a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and then build their own bowls and plates. Some French toast sticks with pulled pork. It sounds terrible. Uh, there you go. Everybody loves to pick <laughs> on, on, on the Sunday of the big game. Yeah. So, Aaron, thank you, so thank you so much, much for always being here. Everybody in the studio is thanking you as well. Uh, Chartwells. K12.com, Facebook, Instagram, and yes, we're waiting on Chef Aaron's cookbook. That's coming out soon. Thanks so much. Thank you.